Hello everyone, greetings to one and all. In today's session, we are going to cover a simpler topic which deals with how to create a T code for a table maintenance generator. In all our previous videos, we have seen how to create domain, how we create data element, how the domain is applied inside a data element, how we create tables, and in tables, why do we need table maintenance generator, and what is the application of TMG events, and after we create the table maintenance generator, we went to T code SM30 for maintaining the data. Now, SM30 is usually not the T code that we will give access to the users for maintaining the data, or be it even the functional consultants, we don't give the SM30 access directly in many of the business case scenarios. So in these kind of scenarios where we cannot give this SM30 access, we probably give them a custom T code that gets created exclusively for this table maintenance generator and we share the T code across. Now how do we create a table maintenance generator's custom T code is what we are going to cover now. It's a simple topic. It with very few simple steps. So as you know, in SE93 is the T code that is used for creating all T codes in SM, I mean in SAP. However, for maintaining data in any table using table maintenance generator, we go for SM30. So it's like we encapsulate the T code SM30 into the custom T code that we are creating through SE93. Like uh, you will understand more during the demo process for all the T codes that are created for TMG, the process is going to be same. Only the table name that we give as input differs. And without wasting much time, let's directly jump into this. As I told you, custom T codes for TMG are created using SC93 and SC30 combination. Now, let's directly get to the hands-on part. So if you have followed my previous videos, you will be knowing this is the table that is used uh, that we created together and we also used a uh, table maintenance generator for maintaining the data into this table. Now if I go to SM30, okay, and uh, I have to give the table name here and then I get in and I maintain the entry. Now instead of going SM30, I'm planning to create a custom T code. Now what I'm going to do, I'll first go into SC93. The steps are very simple. Select a particular transaction code that you wish to have. In our case, I'm just selecting ZSTUD. Click on create, here give a short description, uh, T code, for TMG with table, the student. Now here, there are five different options. I'll explain each of the option in one of a separate video because each of the options here has a different significance. For our case, where we need to create a T code for a table maintenance generator of a table, we must always choose the last option, transaction with parameters. That's the option that we need to choose because we are creating a transaction code for a transaction called SM30 with certain parameters, right? So what are the parameters that we are going to maintain that you will see. So this is relatively a transaction that is created for another transaction with certain parameters. Click on continue. You'll be led to this screen. Now here, what is the transaction that we use for updating the data for this table? It is SM30. Okay. So I give you SM30 here. Now, as I told you, we need to maintain certain parameters so that this SM30 is a common T code, which is applicable for all the tables. But we need to ensure this is used only for the table that we intend to add entries. So this is the parameter that we need to add. Here, there are two parameters. One is called view name, okay, which should be the table name for which we are creating the T, uh, T code for TMG. Another one is the operation, which is update. We are trying to update the entries in this table. So these are the two simple parameters that we need to maintain. These are the two simple parameters that we need to maintain for any table, uh, any create, uh, T code creation for any of the TMG. For only differences, you need to give the appropriate or respect to table names there. Here, our table name is these students, so I give the same name. Kindly check all these boxes, GUI support boxes, because this supports the SAP GUI screen that you're using under different uh, pages like HTML, Java and Windows pages. And it is a professional user transaction. Okay. Now I simply save this and I save this in a local object. And yes, my T code is ready. Now let's check what happens when I open this T code slash O. 
and the T code name and enter. You see here the SM30 transaction opens with the table name defaulted there because I have given the table name under my view name. So now here I go, I enter the maintain transactions and you know what to do here. Click on new entries and add. Now I will do something interesting. I just want to skip this initial screen of SM30. When I entered SM30, this was, I mean, when I entered that custom T code, this was the first screen I got, right? I don't want this particular screen. Rather, I would directly get into this maintenance screen. Okay, let's do the appropriate configuration here. Here we have an option called skip initial screen. So when you do the skip initial screen and save it, automatically when you execute the same T code, as you can see in my command bar, I'm executing the same T code in a new session and I open it, you see, my initial screen is gone and I directly get to the page where I get to maintain the data. So this is it guys, friends. This is a very simple method for creating a T code for the TMG off of data base table that you have created. So in short, you are, you usually use SM30 for maintaining data in any table provided the TMG for that particular table is created. In most of the business scenarios, you don't give the transaction code SM30 access to everyone because you will be giving them an access for maintaining data for some other tables as well, right? So in order to avoid that or in order to prevent them from maintaining any other data on any other table and in order to restrict them to maintain only the table, uh, one, to, in order to restrict them to maintain data only on the table that you wish to, you create the custom T code for the table data maintenance. So here our custom table is Z student and we have created table maintenance generator for that. And we are creating a custom T code in transaction SE93 by using the T code SM30 by skipping the initial screen. We maintain two parameters and the two parameters are named as view name and update wherein here you mention the table name. Here you mention the kind of operation you are willing to perform and you save it and you will give this custom T code that we have created across your team so that they can have access to SM30 but they will not, I mean, they will not get to edit any other table other than the table that you have added in the industry transaction code. So that's it friends. In our next videos, we'll be coming up with a few other important key concepts of table. Until then, see you, take care, peace and blessings to you all.